Law enforcement officials in Buncombe and Henderson counties are warning credit and debit card users to be on the lookout. Someone stealing card numbers and personal pins and wiping out bank accounts. The number of cases is on the rise, and investigators say use your cards with caution. ATMs, gas pumps, anywhere you use a credit or debit card could be a potential trap. They went to a Publix, they went to a couple of convenience stores. Someone got Stephanie Lopez's debit card information and cleared out her account. But it was all odd amounts, and so every penny was taken from my bank, basically. She and dozens of others who filed police reports have no idea how their personal banking information was stolen. Detectives think that the thieves are getting people's debit card information by placing skimmers on card reading devices like this one. Skimmers are sold online, devices that can swipe your information in seconds and be sold to thieves who produce a card with your information to make transactions anywhere in the world. That's one thing I try to keep an eye on, my balance, you know. I mean, if I notice something's wrong, I always call the bank. Investigators are warning people to be extra cautious. Don't use a card that ties directly to your bank account. Choose credit instead of debit to protect your personal PIN. And get a card with a $500 limit or less and use it for small incidents dental purchases at gas stations, convenience stores, and fast food restaurants. It doesn't surprise me. I know uh, criminals are very smart. Brian Newsom has never had his card stolen, but he's not taking any chances using a separate account for expenses. We put X amount of dollars into it for our monthly expenses. So if someone were to get my information, all they would have access to is gas money, grocery money. Um, it would hurt but it wouldn't wipe us out completely. Stephanie was able to get her account refunded. Another piece of advice, though, don't just report the theft to the bank. Call your local law enforcement agency as well. Investigators believe there are far more cases out there in our community that they just don't know about because people are only reporting it to their banks.